Hi, my name is Greg Alba. And I'm John Humphrey. And we are The Real Rejects. Hi, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. You were like freaking awesome in this movie. Aww, <laughs> you, you, were so, you. You, you were like so damn good. And uh, really timeless. <laughs> uh, you're way more talented than us in every single way. And it's not intimidating <laughs> at all for someone at your age. <laughs> but um, no, we only got a short amount of time. So I just kind of want to dive right into it. I wanted to ask, a common practice for actors is creating the backstory and memories of the character. However, your character is like thousands of years old. So it's almost like a near impossible task. So I'm curious, how did you go about crafting backstory for Sprite? Did you do any memory building exercises in conjunction with Chloe Zhao or like any of the other cast? Well, if you see the movie, you know that it sort of goes back and forth throughout time and show some little moments. And a lot of the flashbacks didn't make it into the final cut of the movie. And I think shooting those scenes definitely helped to build to like the future day. I usually just try my best to understand the character and why she's feeling a certain way. And um, mm. Chloe really helped me with that. I, I try to stay in the moment and find connection with the other actors around me. That makes a lot of sense. I thought you did a great job with that. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, you know, your character is the same age as the rest of the characters in the Eternals. But, you know, in real life, you're a teenager and then you're also having to behave like a, you know, aged adult. Uh, were you ever intimidated about having to share the screen with, you know, a bunch of veteran actors who, you know, do have that life experience? I mean, working with adults is always like it always gives me something to, you know, live up to. It's a certain standard, let alone, you know, this A-list cast that I'm working, I've worked with. Um, it's really interesting to see how everyone works. And I found a lot of inspiration from, you know, their work ethic and the way that they did things that made me want to perform better. Oh, that sounds cool. So it sounds like a real uplifting experience. Yes, it was a great, experience. I mean, it was a little intimidating at first, but I went into it not like super duper aware of how A-list these actors were. <laughs> and okay. So I think that was definitely helpful because I wasn't, I mean, I was really only nervous to meet Richard Madden. Honestly, I really like Richard Madden. Understandably <laughs> really so, understandably. <laughs> yeah. I was such a big fan of him. Oh my gosh, Cinderella. But besides him, I think I was just really excited to be part of the film and meet Chloe and to be able to portray this character. I mean, I was excited to go to work every day. <laughs> That's awesome to hear. I, I mean, I just have to ask this uh, because it's within the MCU. Which MCU character, like outside of Eternals, would you love most to possibly do just a really damn good scene with? I mean, my favorite, some of my favorite characters, I think I love Thor and Loki and I love their banter and I love their relationship. I mean, I would love to work with Tom Hiddleston. Oh my God. I like, I think Loki's just so funny and like such a great character. Um, but because he's sort of gone, um, I think hmm. my second choice would be Thor. I love him. <laughs> I think he's great. I actually got to meet them and I absolutely freaked out. <laughs> did you meet them? Uh, when, when did you meet them? At Comic-Con. Oh yeah. From, that, from a while back. Wow. A while back. Okay. Yeah. Years actually ago. thinking about sprite and loki would be a really good that would be, yeah, that would be perfect, especially with yeah. the kind of power sets yeah. that you guys have that would yeah, be a perfect I, I've heard a lot of comparison room. of our characters anyway so oh yeah well i hope it does come true um but i know you've been like so busy and i really appreciate you taking the time uh to speak with of us course. i know we got to wrap right now but seriously uh you, you did such an excellent job and uh, it was job. you were just you were as on par with all the a-listers you were just on equal level the whole time and, and we Thank mean that so sincerely much. yeah very impressive so uh enjoy uh the celebration over the next few weeks because it's well i will <laughs> all right take care thank you thank you